line and we're almost there. This is so cool. I can't wait to hit puppet time, story time, music time. Oh, today's music time. On other Fridays, we have story time. But we're running down the driveway because we can't wait to start music time. And we, we want to thank everyone who didn't show up because, well, because we're all supposed to stay home. But this is my home. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. We're almost there. I wonder what stories and songs we'll do today. This is going to be so fun. Okay, we're there. We're there. We're there. Oh, there's the building. Here, this is their sign. Oh, look. Okay, the Fine Arts Center. We must be in the right place. Going in the door. This is going to be so cool. What? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, we had to get the door. Okay, look. They always have a fun display of puppets to look at, too. I like that. Oh, here we go. It's music time and I can't wait. It's music time and I can't wait. Um, this is kind of an experiment, you guys. We've never done this before, so we hope we do okay. And we just thank you for joining us. Huh? Oh, oh, look at it. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's Miss Emma. She's yes. helping us today. Yes. So Glad hello. you have a helper, huh? Well, a family home. Yeah, okay. Hello, welcome to music time. My name is Miss Emma, and we're going to be talking about some awesome dogs, and we're going to be listening to some awesome dog stories, and we have oh, a lot of fun activities planned. Today. I like dog songs. Are you going to sing dog songs? Yeah, we're going to sing dog songs. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, so, well, but before that, we've been thinking, and we have some really cool craft ideas for you to do at home. Oh, so, that's a good idea. I like your craft ideas. Yes. So. Okay, so our first idea is really cool. So what it is, is it's a toilet paper roll dog. So here's what it looks like. And what you do is you start off with your toilet paper roll, okay? So you have your toilet paper roll and you cut out these different shapes. Did so, you draw those on there? Um, so these are uh, different cutout shapes. So I, drew, I ch um, drew the shapes onto a piece of paper and I cut them. So two teardrops, two circles, a tail, and if you want, two different um, circles for the eyes. So that's that we attached. Oh, wait, can I see that again? I want to see what it looks like up close. The, the, the dog puppet, let's see oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. I could do something like that. That's neat. Huh, what, what's he got in his head? So what he has in his head are some really cool dog bone shapes, and these are for a game that we'll be playing later. Oh, okay. All right. So, well, what if I don't have a toilet paper roll free in my um, house? Don't worry. So our next idea. Let alone is really toilet cool. paper. Yeah, our next idea is really cool because it's um a t so it's a paper plate or um it's a piece of paper dog. So what you do, and here's what it looks like. Isn't it so awesome? Oh, I get it. So you've got, you've made hair on his head. That's funny. Yes. And you gave him legs. Let me see his legs. Yeah, so what I did, Let me see his legs. So here's his legs. Oh, and they're cut out of extra pieces of mm -hmm. paper plate, huh? Yeah, so what we did is what, after we cut out this shape, we used the, the rim of the paper plate to cut out, cut out ears and two ears and two legs. Oh, nice. So you cut the middle out of the paper plate. Hold that up again. I want to see how that works. Yes. You cut the, oh, because then it's just flat, huh? Mm -hmm. And it's extra strong. Okay, yeah. I get it. And then you rolled it and taped it, right? Yep, I rolled it. We taped it, but you can staple it or glue it or whatever you have at home. <sighs> what so. if we don't have paper plates? Oh, don't worry. You can also use a piece of paper. Oh. So after we attached everything, we colored everything. Um, the color we wanted. So we chose black and we gave him some black spots and black ears, but you could do whatever oh, you want. Fun! That's so fun, but yeah. what if I don't have any paper left? Oh, don't worry. What else you could do is you could um, fill a sock up with a little bit of rice and you can tie it off with a rubber band, but we also um, recommend reinforcing it with some rope or twine or thread. So it's really strong and it lasts for a long time. So what did you do to the top of the sock? Yeah, so for the top of the sock, we grabbed a rubber band and then we tied it off. And then if your parents let you, you can cut the top of the sock so he has some really cool ears. 
Oh, nice. And then, oh, wait, wait, I want to see the nose. What did you make the nose out of? So we made the nose out of a paper cup. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's just rolled up paper and tape. Yeah. What a good idea. Yes, and you can also give him a paper cup collar, which is really cool. Just remember, you can use whatever you have at home. Okay, I hope I can make something. What if I don't have anything to make something out of? Oh, don't worry. Um, if you don't have anything, feel free just to grab a stuffed dog. Oh, he's scary. Uh, he's really scary. So maybe one like this. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. My sister has one. Maybe I'll borrow hers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Emma. This is so fun. Maybe. Oh, wait. What about the bones? Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I would love to show you how the bones work. So what you do is you start off by drawing the letter B on top of two lines. So after you have your first point, your letter B and your two lines, you draw another letter B, and then you just cut it out for a really cool looking bone like this. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. So we made sure that um, our bones could hang over the top of our, our dog. So it's a great place to store them and they're pretty cool. Bones, 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 bones. Hey, I'm part of, I'm part, I'm part of this show too. And I think that we're gonna do a, a game about finding dog bones later. So that will be fun, huh? Well, let's go in and, and find our puppets. I gotta get my camera situated here. So you sit right here. Oh wait, show them our audience first, huh? Here's our audience. Look at this. We couldn't invite. We couldn't invite. We couldn't. Go ahead. We couldn't invite. We couldn't invite a lot of people because we're all supposed to stay home. And well, this is where I live. This is where I stay home. So, so nice to have you all here. And you guys are all so cute and so fun and so quiet. Let's all hear you cheer. Yay, yay, yay. Ooh. Come on, I'll make some noise. Yay, yay, hooray, hooray. Okay, well, anyway, since you're sitting so quietly, I'll have my friend, the dog, come out and introduce himself and start us on our puppet music time. Does that sound great? Okay. Go see the audience for a minute. Before we do that, though, let's start off with a really cool joke. Do you guys want to hear one? Okay, so... What do you call a dog that meditates? An a werewolf. <laughs> okay, well, hey, look over there. It's my friend. It's my friend. Hey, yes, I'm, I'm your favorite dog here. Well, I'm going to be your favorite dog. I'm the most famous dog ever. Um, and I'm so happy to see you. So I thought for a music thing today, we could sing if you're happy and you know it. So if you know that, you can sing along. It kind of goes like this. You ready? If you're happy and you know it, bark like this, ruff, ruff. If you're happy and you know it, bark like this, ruff, ruff. If you're happy and you know it, and you'll really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, bark like this, ruff, ruff. Oh. Did you like that, huh? Wasn't that good, huh? What? Wait, why one, one second? I thought it was if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, 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 well, I don't have hands, and I thought I would do something different. Oh, and I can sing the song, too. It goes, if you're happy and you know it, hop like this, hop, hop. If you're happy and you know it, hop like this, hop, hop. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, hop like this, hop, hop. Oh. See? That was good, huh? Goodness. I... I know that it's if you're happy and you know it, um, clap your hands. You're a puppet. Can you clap your hands? Oh, good point. Well, who? Why don't you? You know what? What I think is this is the funnest part. We want to be creative. Why don't you make up your own version? <gasps> That's such a good idea. Mm, let me think. Oh, I have one. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. That was so great. Thank you, Hoppy. And thank you, all of you who listen so quietly. Um, well, 
speaking of songs and dogs and people, today I want to share with you a song that was written and inspired, well, was inspired by me. And well, it kind of goes like, if it's, uh, I think we need some music to back us up. So hang on one minute, we're gonna get some music, and it sounds like this, it's all about, um, what is this? It's, um, I was in a pet store, and someone saw me in the window, and so they wrote this song, and it's called, How Much Is the Doggy in the Window? If you know that song, you'll sing along, right? Okay, Miss Susan's gonna sing it for us. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna go over here, and I'm gonna get settled down here and watch. Here's our song. It goes like this. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. Oh, there's a little dog just like you when you were little. And look at how happy he is. He's trying to get everybody's attention so someone will buy him. I bet he could stand on his head. I bet he could hide behind the stage. I bet he could jump up and look really happy. He looks happy already. Will you sing that song with me one more time? We'll go all the way through. Ready? How much is that doggy in the window? The one with singing along in my head. So, now, then, I was bought by a farmer, and one day when I was only two months old, I got lost. And then somebody heard about it, and they wrote this song. It's called, Oh Where, Oh Where Has My Little Dog Gone? And while you're singing it, you can put your hand up to you, over your eyes and pretend you are looking. And we'll see how it sounds. If you know it, sing along. I think I'm ready. You ready? Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where? this once. Now you guys have to sing along. You ready? Here we go. Are you ready? You can sing along too. Oh. Okay, you ready? Oh, oh where, oh where has my little dog gone? Oh where, oh where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh where, oh where can he be? Good job. Did you like my songs, huh? Oh, <clears throat> there's somebody over there that's been misbehaving. Can you guys sit up a little bit better? Okay, come on, sit up, please. All right? I think they will. Okay, give them a minute. Get yourself straightened up. We have another song to do. Um, let me think. Oh, I know my name. Okay, we're going to sing about my name. And my name, well, my name, if I forgot to tell you, is Bingo. Do you know the name Bingo? It was invented just for me. And so if you'd like to sing along, we're going to sing a song about me. Just one more song about me, okay? Isn't it nice to be famous? I love this. Okay, take it away, maestro. Let's see if we can do this. We got some puppets to help us? Good. Yeah. Okay.
I'm just going to sing it all the way through one more time so you learn how to spell. Ready? There was a farm who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. O B I N G O. this song and they just they just clap or bark or do something different um, to not say all the letters but we can't do that really well today can we huh we don't have enough hands to hold up the letters we're gonna sing it as fast as we can you ready here we go there was a farm who had a dog and bingo was his name oh.
And I don't like hearing I'm bad. So find me, find me. Please find some dog bones for me, for me. Find me, find me. Oh, please find some dog bones for me. Life is rough, rough, rough. Thank you. Thank you. So is your name Ruff? No, it's just dog. That's interesting. Just dog. Do you like that name? Well, I do. It's pretty dandy. They actually even wrote a book about it. A book about your name? Yes. Oh, OK. And. That must be this book over here, right? Yeah, I think Miss Susan would probably be willing to read it for us. Well, actually, I am. That would be fun. Shall we read a book? We always read a book at our music and story times because books are important. They teach us a lot of things, and reading is important, too. Yeah, really important. I just chew on books, but I'm going to learn to read. I promise. OK, here we go. Well, while we're waiting, I would be more than glad to entertain you with some more jokes. Okay, so why did the snowman name his dog Frost? Because he bites. <laughs> well, here's another one. What do you call a dog magician? A labracadabrador. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good there, dog. Thanks. Do you want to hear one more? Okay, one more. Okay. What type of instrument does a dog play? A trombone. <laughs> oh, speaking of bones, I have a game for you. Well, we'll save it for later. Here we okay. go. Don't let me forget my game, though, okay? I won't. So this one's called Just Dog, and we want to thank, um, let's see, I think it's Veronica Publishers. They're actually from Britain. We couldn't get a hold of them, but we're at Chronicle Books. We're thanking all of the publishers that are letting people do story times with books online just because we can't get out and we have, you can't come out and see us live. So this one is called Just Dog. It's by Hawaiian Oram, and the pictures are by Lisa Blather. And it was printed in Belgium. Anyway, here it is, Just Dog. Pages, and here we have it. Dog was a dog that was what everyone called dog was a dog, and that's what everyone called him, just dog. Morning, dog. Hello, dog. Get down, dog. Come on, dog. And dog didn't like it. Does he look happy? He looks a little sad. He moped. He moped by the fire. Dog's not a name, he said to his mid Midnight the Cat. Not a proper name, it's just something that says I'm not a cat. Well, you're not a cat, said Midnight the Cat. No, said Dog, but I'm not just another dog either. And it's time they knew it. Look at them talking. Dog got to his feet, slipped out of the back door, and began to dig up the garden. Have you gone crazy, said Midnight the Cat. What are you doing? Digging, said Dog, because when I've dug more holes than any other dog in history, they'll stop calling me Dog and start calling me Digger. He's making a mess, and I hate when my dog digs in the garden or the yard. But they didn't stop calling him Digger. They didn't stop calling him, they just kept calling him Dog. Bad dog, was all they said. Now what are you going to do, said Midnight the Cat. Woof, woof, woof. Bark, 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 said dog. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bark so loud and so long, they'll stop calling me dog and start calling me barker. He did that, but they didn't start calling him Barker, and they didn't stop calling him Dog. Be quiet, Dog, was all they said, and they put him on a leash. 
And now what are you going to do, dog? said Midnight the Cat. Chew, of course, said Dog. That's what I'm going to do. Chew through my leash and get through the fence and chase more policemen than any other dog in history. And then they'll have to stop calling me Dog and start calling me Swiftfoot or Lionhearted or Hunter. But they didn't stop, start calling him Swiftfoot or Lionheart or Hunter. And they didn't stop calling him Dog. Oh, dog, dog, oh, dog, was all they said. And now, what are you going to do, said Midnight. Think, said dog, and that's when he came, that's when he came up with a plan. First, he rolled over and made big, I'm sorry eyes and gave long, I'm sorry licks. Then he tidied up the garden, and he helped the postman, and he got everybody's slippers for them, and he was nice to the chickens and kept them company and didn't bark at them at all, and he even helped deliver the paper. He didn't run quickly through the house, but he curled up quietly by the fire with a deep and meaningful sigh. I am the best dog ever, type sigh. Good dog, they said, good, good dog. In fact, they said, you're such a good dog, we won't, we want to give you a good dog's name. That's what he was waiting for, that's what he was waiting for. And here's the names they came up with. Sweetheart, Honey Bun, Treasure Chest, or how about Pudding Face, this is British, you know and sugar pops or angel eyes. And do you know what Dog did? That's when he couldn't help it. He leapt to his feet, ran quickly through the house, and jumped on the sofa and barked. Arf, 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 arf. He barked his head off. No, no, you've got this whole thing wrong. Just Dog suits me just fine. The end. Did you like our story? Was that funny? And so, what's your name again? Oh, hello there! My name is Maxwell, and I heard you had a really fun dog bone game. Oh, that's right. Hey, tell Just Dog thank you, okay? I will. Okay, all right. Oh, the bone game, yes. If you made some bones out of paper or paper plates, we have a game for you and it's called Find the Bone. So we did this. We hid three bones that we made, and you're gonna go out and look for them, and I'll say hot or cold when you're close to them, okay? Okay. Here we go. That Find the good. bones, find the bones. Oh. You're kinda cold right now. I'm kinda find cold. the bones, oh. find the bones. Is it hot, 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 getting hotter, getting hotter, getting I'm hotter, hot. getting I'm hotter. Hot. Cold, colder, 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 colder. Colder, 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 hotter, 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 oh. hotter. Okay, he awesome. found one, yay. Okay, oh. there's two more. Yummy. See if you can okay. find them. Okay, oh, where are they? Low. Where are they? Right there. Where are they? Oh, oh. oh you're still kind of cold. Is it under getting the chair? Warmer. No, no, it's getting, getting warmer. warmer, warmer, hot, 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 hot. Okay, I found right. it. Okay, you found okay. it. Okay, so you're kind of cold. cold. I'm kind of cold. cold. Is it right here? Ah, getting warmer. Getting I'm warmer. Oh. Getting warmer. Does the ah, owl colder, have it? Colder, 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 mm. colder. Doesn't look colder, like it. Colder, colder. <gasps> oh. Hot, 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 hot. oh, you found oh, it! This. Yay! This. Now, because oh. you found them, awesome. all, you get to hide them next time. Does that sound good? I will. Okay. Thank you. Well, but what, what, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Um. I think we're about out of time, but we want to thank you for joining us for our music time, for singing for us. Yes, yes, you're welcome. And um, next week, Joyce and Scott Dean, husband and wife couple, are going to try and do puppet story time for us too, next Friday. So tune in for that. And meanwhile, meanwhile, guess what? Oh, the leash! Oh no, not the leash! The leash! I love to be unleashed, but I hate when I have to be on. Well, I have no choice right now, do I? I'm like everybody else. If I want to get out at all, I have to do it 
online.